aluminum, when left out in the elements, will oxidize like iron or steel. But unlike these other metals, aluminum's oxide layer will not rust or eat away at the substrate. Instead, this oxide layer actually protects the aluminum from further corrosion. Anodizing significantly improves upon this natural occurrence through an electrochemical process that grows the anodic layer from the aluminum, aluminum oxide. Aluminum oxide is a translucent crystalline structure from the corundum family of gemstones, like sapphire, with hardness second only to diamond. Since aluminum oxide is bonded at the molecular level, it will never chip, flake, peel, or chalk like coatings often do. The continuous coil anodizing process ensures that every square inch or millimeter of the material spends the exact same amount of time in the process. This provides a much more consistent surface finish, film thickness, color quality, and seal quality. The anodizing process consists of five steps, which offer opportunities to customize the anodic thickness, brightness, and color, ensuring that the finished aluminum meets the requirements of the end user's applications. The first step in the anodizing process is pretreatment, where the aluminum is cleaned to remove mill oils. Step two, depending on preference, the anodizer can treat the surface for a satin, matte, or bright look. Step three in the process is where the anodic layer is grown. The more time the metal spends in the anodizing tank, the thicker the anodic layer will be. Step four is where the color comes in. Dyes are added directly to the unsealed aluminum pores. Alternatively, you can add metal salts to achieve a more durable, fade-resistant metal finish. Step five in the anodizing process is when the aluminum is sealed and rinsed completing the anodizing process. From here, the finished anodized aluminum is shipped to clients who manufacture parts or panels, providing products for a multitude of markets and industries.